All right, so we learned that when something pours in, it means that something arrives in a very, very large amount. 所以说呢，每年圣诞节有数以百万计的信件。大量涌入邮局 ，and they are all for Santa Claus.、Mm. But can post offices deal with all the letters every year? I don't know. If people were pouring in letters for me, I don't think I can write back to every single one. Yeah. All right. So the article then says that's why the U.S. Postal Service started. Operation Santa. Now we see the word postal here, and this just means it relates to the post office. So、mm -hmm. that's why、um, when you go to the post office, we say, "Oh, those are postal workers," because there are people who work there. Or when we talk about the mail service and delivering and sending out mail, we call that the postal service. So、um, it's the, basically the service we receive at the post office.、Mm -hmm. Post 这个字呢，是邮政、邮务或跟邮局相关的事情，在英式英文当中呢，还可以指 mail 邮件。Mm. 那 post 的字尾加上 al postal， 它是一个形容词哦，代表的是跟邮局或者是邮局业务相关的。所以刚刚提到的 postal workers 就是所谓的邮政人员，在邮局工作的人。那么 postal service 就是邮政服务。还有一个同学们要知道的是 postal code 是所谓的。邮递区号。Mm -hmm. So what about the word operation? Ah, all right. Well, operation here means a set of planned actions for something in particular. So, a lot of times, people in the military they launch an operation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they have a set of planned actions to do something, and it's usually top secret, and they give it. Special names like it could be like Operation Geronimo or Operation Elsie if、oh. they are planning to do something to you. <laughs> okay, so Operation 代表的是要达到某项目的的活动或行动。文章当中的 Operation Santa 就是圣诞老公公运作计划。另外 ，Tiffany 老师有提到啊，当军方要发动军事行动的时候，会在发动的行动或者是计划的名称当中加上 Operation 这个字。另外。那 operation 还可以当做手术。For example,、Ooh. he needs to have an operation on his right eye. 他的右眼需要动手术。那动词的形式呢？我们说 operate 也是同学们要会的，可以解释为行动。运作当然包括动手术。嗯、mm, ，That's right. Okay, let's see how they help out. Well, this program, so Operation Santa, answers letters from children hoping to hear back from their favorite holiday figure. So remember, you know, Santa is going to receive millions of letters every single year. So it's going to be very difficult for him to answer back one by、mm -hmm. one. So this is to kind of help、uh, people or help Santa. Uh, reply to these letters.、Yeah. Now we say he is an important figure. Figure here is our vocabulary word, and it's a noun, and it means a person with a specific sa status and is recognized in a special way. So we say Santa Claus is a figure of Christmas. It means that whenever you think of Christmas, you will always think of Santa Claus.、Yes. Or here's another one:、mm -hmm. Michael Jordan. Oh, Michael Jordan is a popular sports figure because when we see him, when we see Michael Jordan, we know that ah, he's a Really great basketball player. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. So figure 这个字呢，它是指人物、名人，或者是人影，还有数字的意思哦。那 figure 也可以当做动词，代表的是认为。For example, I figured that she might not want to go to the party, so I didn't invite her.、Mm. 我认为呢，她不会想要去参加派对，所以我就没有邀请她了。那如果我们用到 to figure something out， 代表的是想出某事。For example， you need to figure this out yourself. I can't help you. 你要自己想出办法来，我是没有办法帮你的。Mm -hmm. Okay, so we know that Operation Santa answers letters from children, but when did this operation come to form? Okay, well, we, let's learn more about Operation Santa. It says Operation Santa, which began in 1912, allows people to respond to letters to Santa. Respond here is a verb, and it means to say or write something back to someone as an answer or as a request. So, a lot of us use things like Line or WhatsApp, and your friends send you messages. Now, you can respond to them, you can reply them, or answer back to them. For example, we can say, "I was so happy my favorite singer responded to my letter." Now, we can also use the word reply. To mean respond, so my friend replied R E P L Y or 
IED, if you want to use past tense, to my message a few hours later. Respond 这个动词呢是回答、答复的意思，或者是呢对某事物做出反应。所以我们也可以说 ，How did she respond to the news when you told her? 她听到你告诉她的消息的时候是如何做反应的？另外呢，回答或者是回复的名词，我们说是 response. She didn't say anything in response. 她什么也没有说。Hey, you know what? That cute guy didn't respond me yet. I'm wondering if I should send him a message. Maybe you should, but don't worry. I think he'll reply you sometime later. Okay, I'll be more patient. All right, so let's continue reading. The article says today, post offices all over the U.S. participate. Okay, so. Wow, that's like 50 states, and there's so many、um, post offices in these states. Now, when you participate, it is our vocabulary word. It's a verb, and it means to join or be involved in something. So, for example, in school, our teachers want us to participate in the class discussion. So it means our teachers want us to speak up, and they want us to talk to each other and talk to the teacher. Ask questions、mm-hmm. and during class time,、yeah. right? Participate is 参加参与 To participate in something 就等于 to take part in something. 参与某个活动 So post offices all over the U.S. participate in Operation Santa. They take part in it. Mm-hmm. But what if the letters are way too many? I know, because I think there's going to be a ton of children、yeah. writing letters to them. I wonder how that's going to work out. But let's continue reading. It says, postal workers sometimes ask schools and community groups to help them with this joyful task. Okay, so yes, that's right. Maybe it's very difficult for you know the post office、mm-hmm. workers. Postal workers to reply to the messages or respond to the letters. So what they do is they ask schools or they ask the community to help. Now, what is a community? Well, it's a group of people who live in the same area or live around in the same area. Community is 社区那学校和社区团体也会加入这个 joyful task， 也就是令人开心的任务，帮忙回信。Mm. That's right. I wonder if they find out though. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, let's continue reading. It says generous individuals can become Santa's helpers with this program too. All right. So, people who really want to help out, who are very generous, can be a part of this program, and they can write back and become Santa's helper.、Mm-hmm. Now, if you're generous, it means it's an adjective, and it means you give more than what is needed, or、uh, you give more than. Uh, the normal amount. So, a very generous person will maybe share that extra slice of pizza with you, or that extra slice of cake with you. They will give you more than what you should have. For example, Elsie and Laura have kind hearts and are very generous people. You are very generous too, Tiffany. I know the three of us are very generous. Yeah, I know. <laughs> generous, 它是一个形容词，代表慷慨的、大方的。那相反词就是 stingy， 小气的。We also see the word individuals. An individual is a noun, and it means a single person, or you can talk about a particular person. So, for example, we can say they are both rather odd individuals. So we're talking about the one person and this one person, or we can say, "Are you the individual I spoke with on the telephone? Are you that particular person that I spoke with on the telephone?" Or we can say she's a very talented individual. That means she's a very, very talented person. Individual 指的是个人或个体，那、啊、它是名词的用法。不过呢，它还可以当做形容词啊，代表的是个别的。那另外，在西方的文化当中呢，重视的是所谓的个人主义。我们说 individualism。嗯。那在东方的文化当中，我们重视的是团体主义，叫做 collectivism。嗯 ，I think I see more people becoming individuals now in Taiwan. Yes, more and more. Yeah, everyone has their own style. They like their own things. It's really great. I think. Good. You should stick to being an individual because you want to stand out. You want to be your own person.、Mm-hmm. All right. So let's continue reading our story. So to do so, they can adopt a letter by answering it and providing a present for the child who wrote it. Okay, that's very sweet. All right. So let's take a look at the word adopt and why they use it in quotations. Now, adopt is a verb and it usually means to. 
take a child mm -hmm. and um, you become the parents. You be legally become the parent and you take them in as your own. So why does this happen? Maybe because the child is an orphan. It doesn't he he or she doesn't have a mom or dad and they need a family. Okay, but here the letters aren't children. The word adopt has quotation marks around it because we're using this word but not literally. So they're saying when we adopt a letter, we kind of take responsibility for the letter and we kind of act like we're Santa Claus. I mean, pretend that we are Santa Claus and we give them gifts and we make sure that this child or this letter is taken care of. Adopt 它是收养、领养的意思。那文章中的 adopt a letter 使用的是拟人法，透过收养的方式让信件有主人。那另外 ，to adopt a child 代表是领养一个孩子。His parents adopted a child after he was born. 或者说，我们可以说被动态的用法。The child was adopted by the kind couple last year. All right, so let's continue reading. It says, besides Operation Santa, there are similar programs set up in a number of countries, including France, Canada, and Finland. So when you set up something, it means you build or you establish something. So other countries do this as well. So、mm -hmm. it's not just the United States; a lot of countries around the world do this as well. So set up these. Things in different countries.、Um, set up. You can also set up a shop. You can set up the booth, or you can even set up the kitchen table. Set up 是建立、设立的意思。文章中使用的是被动态哦，也就是有很多相似的计划被建立出来，而且呢，还在一些。其他的国家当中实施，我们看到 a number of 其实就是 several 一些的意思。那如果我们要说是大量许多，我们会说 a great or a large number of something。那如果是少量的呢，我们会说 a small number of something。那记得后面我们要加的是可数名词哦。那如果要接不可数名词怎么办呢？我们可以将 number 改成 amount 或是 sum。He has a large amount of money. 或者是我们可以说 he has a lot of money. 他有很多钱。Hmm. All right. So let's continue reading. It says, if you want to hear from Santa, why not send a letter of your own? All right. So yeah, I think I've sent out a letter to Santa Claus when I was younger.、Mm -hmm. He didn't reply me.、Though. He didn't reply you. But I did get what I want for Christmas, so I guess that's good enough. So、I、guess he, he did send you a present. He did. He、Ooh. responded with a present, so I think it's okay. So they say, why not send a letter of your own? It says, why not? We use this to、um, to suggest someone to do something. So、mm -hmm. you would look great with short hair. Why not cut your hair? Why not? 也就是 why don't you? 何不后面呢？记得接上原形动词。Mm. And then next, the article says you can address it to any post office that celebrates the holiday by answering Christmas letters. Now, address here is used as a verb, and it means to mail something and to send something to someone.、Mm -hmm. Address something to somebody, 也就是寄某物给某人 Address 当动词的时候，除了寄送，还有发表演说、处理事情。当名词的时候是地址。Mm -hmm. And then it says, "Who knows? Maybe you'll hear back and even get a special Christmas gift." Then that would be wonderful. I know. Let's try it this year, even though we're adults,、okay. but we can try it. All right. So let's take a quick break and let's go to our for you chat.